Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to create different charts in Python. We'll be looking at how to create a bar chart, how to create a line chart, followed by a pie chart using Python. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create different charts in Python, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let me begin by introducing you to the first statement. As you can see here, we are importing a library which is called as matplotlib. In Python, matplotlib is a very popular plotting library. I repeat, matplotlib is a very popular plotting library which is used for creating visualizations and graph. The pyplot module of matplotlib provides a simple interface for creating various types of plots such as line plots, scatter plots, and histogram. Apart from line chart, scatter plot, histogram, we can create other graphs as well. Let me explain the statement that I am typing here. I'm writing import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. I repeat, I'm importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt. To use the pyplot module in your code, you need to import it. However, it is common to give it a alias name plt to make it shorter and easier to use. In the second line, what I'm doing is I'm creating sample data. As you can see here, I am creating a list of values for X. I'm specifying values like Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Mumbai for X axis. I'm creating this as a list and saving this as an object X. Further, I am creating Y. In Y, again, I'm specifying a list of values 10, 24, 36, 40, and 22. Once you have the sample data, you're all set to create a bar chart. Let us, in the next line, go ahead and create a simple bar chart. The command here is plt.bar. We will open parenthesis and feed the x-axis. x-axis is pointing to the list object that we had created Similarly, the second parameter that we are specifying is y. y-axis is specifying to the y variable that we had created earlier. You can see here, it is very, very simple to create a bar chart, plt.bar. plt is pointing to the pyplot module that is present in the matplotlib library. Once you go ahead and execute this particular command, You can see here, this is the output of the command that we had given. The output is a nice looking bar chart. What we are seeing here is in the x-axis, we have the different regions like Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Mumbai. My apologies, let me go back. In the x-axis, we have different regions. And in the y-axis, we see the distribution of sales. Further, you can specify additional properties as well. What are some of the additional properties that we can specify? You can see here, not just a simple plt.bar, you can also ask matplotlib to display the title. The command is plt.title. You can open parentheses and specify the title that you would like to give to the bar chart. In the next statement, we'll be typing plt.x label. Within bracket, we are specifying the x-axis name. I've kept it very simple here by labeling it as x-axis. In the last statement, we are typing plt.y label. And within this particular command, we are specifying the name for the y-axis. Once you're through with this, you can display the chart by giving a simple command plt.showOff. Once you execute this particular command, you can see here, this is the title of the chart. 
when I scroll down, it also displays the Y axis label. Upon scrolling further down, you can see the X axis label is also displayed. So this is how simple it is to create a bar chart in Python. Let's now proceed to create a line chart in Python. Here, it's very, very simple to create a line chart. All that we need to do is give the command plt.plot. plt.plot is the command that we can use to create the line chart. There are two parameters here, the X parameter and Y, which is pointing to the sample data that we have created earlier. Once we go ahead and execute this particular command, you can see here, we are getting a line chart in Jupyter Notebook. Let me show you the line chart that is being displayed. You can see here in the x-axis, we have different regions like Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Mumbai. And in the y-axis, we have a range of values from 10 to 40. It is quite evident from this particular graph that Hyderabad is the one which has the highest value for sales. Let me go back and show you the command once again. The command to create the line chart is plt.plot of x comma y. Let me now scroll down. Here, I will be specifying the command to display a pie chart. What is the command? The command is plt.py. Here, we are specifying different parameters like y. Further, we, we have to specify the labels as well. In the labels, I'm specifying the value for the x-axis. And interestingly, the third parameter here is what is called as auto PCT. Now, what does auto PCT do? We can display the values on the pie chart using the auto PCT parameter. The auto PCT parameter specifies the format string for the value labels on the pie chart. You can see here, the value that we are specifying here is percentage 1.1 F percentage percentage. I repeat, the value that you are specifying under the auto PCT parameter is percentage 1.1 F percentage percentage. Now, this is used to display the values as a floating point number. The F here tells Python that we are going to treat this as a floating point number with one decimal point and a percentage sign. You can modify the format string to suit your need. Once we go ahead and execute this particular command, you can see Python would display a nice looking pie chart. This gives the region-wise distribution of sales. My first impression is Hyderabad is the one which has the highest value for sales, followed by Chennai, which shows a sales of 27.3%. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we have seen how to create three simple charts. The first is bar chart, second is a line graph, and the third is a pie chart. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also, like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.